family reunion? When was it? When did it begin? And I'm sure that the audience would like to know a little bit um, about what it is, what it's all about. So. Yeah, it was a club that was formed uh, way back, mo way back, more than <laughs> hundred years ago. Right. With the fusion of two Tamil clubs, the Tamil Sports Club and the Tamil Cricket Club, became the Tamil Union. Okay. In the old days, I believe, that's what I'm told, that it was at Campbell Park. Okay. And then the late P. Sarvanamuthu, who is probably the founding father of the club, got this piece of land in Varathamulla and developed it. And hence, it was called the Oval. Uh -huh. Because it's very circular. And the beauty of P. Sara was that that particular ground, the, the, the stadium or the pavilion, is very adjacent to the playing area, so you actually feel your inside the ground. Okay. So it's a fabulous view from any point All right. of the of the play that goes on. Okay. So that was basically. Uh, that was basically it right. in the old days. Right. And 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 you told me that it was a merge of two uh, unions. Two 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 two, two Tamil clubs at that time. Okay. Because probably. What it's was its significance? Why why did this whole merging happen between two? Uh, well, clubs? they felt it was not enough to go around. <laughs> I was better to form one. Yeah, because probably it's all a legacy of the British. You see, now we had the Moor Sports Club, the Burger Recreation yeah, Club, the yeah. Tamil Union, the Singley yeah. Sports Club. Though most of them go by the acronyms mm. now, mm. we can't uh, call it our TU. It yeah. sounds like a trade union. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. So, so hence we go as Tamil Union or Tamil as we are call it. Right. And um, so far, how have how long have you been a member, sir? I've been a member for about 20 years, uh -huh. but I've been on committee for about 8. Okay. And how has it been so far? Uh, what, what do you see the significant uh, events that has been happening uh, regarding the Tamil Union and outside the, 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 say the feedback of the people towards the Tamil Union? What do you think so far? Has it's improving improved? by the day. We have. Uh, it's improving by the day. By the day. Nice. Okay. Um, we've come a very long way since a group of us came on board committee. Okay. Um, first of all, we did was we revamped. <laughs> which was a, it's a good watering hole, very okay. pleasant. Right. Again, overlooks the lawn. Right. Again, it's behind the wicket, so you get a pretty good view of the game itself. So you have your little keep watching the match. <laughs> this match. All right. Um, that was a major factor. Mm. I was involved uh, more on the um, cricket side. Yes. Yes. And I took to it like a duck takes to water. Okay. And I'm happy to say that. Uh, with a couple of others, we've built it up to a fairly formidable team. And so far, how has, how's, how has the team been doing? You mentioned before the show that there are uh, keynote players. Yes. Who have we've been, got been involved. Seven, in about seven players. All right. Who played in different forms of the game. As you know, today Sri Lanka, we have test cricket, mm -hmm. we have one days and T20s. Yes. Uh, we form a captain in Dimshan, mm -hmm. uh, Rangana Herat, mm -hmm. um, who's um, one of the best Spinner is going now since Murli retired. Yes. Looks like that is a <laughs> way of getting spinners. First it was Murli, now Rangana. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, then we have Suranga Lakma. Right. The first test cricketer from Hambantota, I believe that rings a bell. <laughs> the top. <laughs> uh, but that's a very interesting, it's a huge success story for us. Yeah. Homegrown boy. Mm, then we have Chanaka Velagedra, Shamin the Iranga, Jeevan Mendis, mm -hmm. um, Ramitra Mukwella. Okay. Yeah. And you've been and Kithru on Vidanagi, the last guy. All right. Again. And you've been uh, you've been on one to one discussions, and you've seen the improvements so far in the Tamil Union. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. How has been the backup so far? Backup on what? Towards the players. Very good. They're very supportive. Even if they are overseas, they call and find out what how the team is doing. Okay. Etc. And even when they are free, they come back for a little while, they play one match, you know, they are exhausted, but they still play <laughs> and G the younger players on. Okay. All right. So, I'll tell you um, one instance. Okay. Um, this season, we were playing Bloomfield. Okay. And um, we had to put some runs on the board. And uh, Dilshan was opening and the other opener was a bit of an ambi pampi guy saying, you know, my little finger is hurting. Dilshan told him the choicest of language. <laughs> You get your pants on and come to the middle. <laughs> okay. This little last log, he was back in the hut. <laughs> but this guy was so petrified not to go back, he, he actually uh, yeah. scored some runs at the gallop. <laughs> so that's the uh, way these guys put pressure on the youngsters, you know, pull them up and make them perform above their comfort zone. And that helps? Oh, that definitely helps. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Because is when you're playing with the national cricketers, mm. you tend to up your game. 
mm -hmm. those guys will let you have it in no uncertain yeah, terms. Yeah. Um, they are used to playing at a high level, so they expect the others also to do so. So they improve the game. Nice. So okay. that's one of those uh, very interesting things that took place. Tell, tell, tell us about the committee. Uh, what, what special events has the committee taken part so far in? And uh, is there any uh, event that the Tamil Union has as an experience which is unforgettable so far in the history? Um, a, a fine event was organized was the Gypsies Night. Okay. Just prior to my coming, it was fabulous. That uh, sleepy old place was really turned into like fairyland. Right. And it was one I'm huge. Sure the Gypsies uh, it are was happening. <laughs> Yeah. Is happening. Um, in my time, probably we organized the felicitation for Mutai Muralidharan. It was fabulous. I'm not just felicitating him on getting his 800 wickets. Yeah. Uh, we had it. We didn't have it at the club. We had it at the uh, Cinnamon Grand. Again, that was a magnificent show. Uh, there was a couple of two other big events. We had a Jaffna night. A uh, Jaffna, a theme night, was it? Uh, yeah, it was a theme night again last year. All right. And uh, that also went over well. Okay. But primarily every Friday there is a little club night, a few things happening, a little band. It's primarily we are trying to position it as a safe family club where father, mother, two children come there, enjoy, relax. Okay. And go ahead. We are trying to uh, introduce what they call a Lamprai Sunday. Where again... A Lamprai Sunday? Sunday. Okay, that sounds really attractive. Uh, have, a, <laughs> have a dip in the pool, have a couple yeah. of beers and things like that. Uh, okay. We are working towards that. Alright. Uh, and, 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 and so far... Um, you, you told me that uh, it's a family club, so anybody can... We are in a position as a family club, yes. Right. So anybody can come and gain membership? Oh, right? absolutely. Okay. Even people who have absolutely no interest in cricket? No, no. Sorry. <laughs> That's what I was asking. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We've got, we've got uh, badminton. Okay. We've got squash. All right. We've got tennis. Mm -hmm. And swimming. Um, very interesting. Uh, last year's the national women's champion. Okay. Uh, Tilni... Hen mm -hmm. was from our club. She's a Visakian, mm -hmm. still in school, and at the age of 16 or mm -hmm. 15 years, yes. she won the national championships. So we have a pretty good badminton team as well. Nice. But now she has no time. She's in the national squad full-time training. Right. But at that time, she was also part-time in the club uh, training. Right. So we have badminton as well. Um, is there any uh, merging and any, uh, uh, say, for example, coalition between uh, the car club and uh, schools or any other? clubs and associations out there? Funnily, though our name is Tamil Union, we've had a finish of attracting boys from the south. Okay, so that's a good thing. A yeah, very good thing. <laughs> right. Um, particularly from Mahindra and Richmond, we have a whole host of players coming in. It's been nice. there for quite some time. Okay. Ever since the time of Mrs. Kandakuma, where a conscious decision was taken to go out, we had earlier Upul Chandana, Champagara mm. Manayaka, yeah, yeah. that lot, Upul Sumatipala coming in. <laughs> Then today we have uh, then one Raja Karuna, we have uh, Nisala Taraka, we have Baba Saravaduge, all those young young players. We also have a boy from uh, the Sinigama village, very interesting story, he's a tsunami orphan. Okay, why don't you tell us that's an interesting story? Oh, that's fabulous. He was, um, he's part of the foundation of goodness run by yeah. uh, philanthropist yes. Kushil Gunasekara. Yes. And Kushil called me in one day and said, look, there's a boy I'm sending, have a look at him. Okay. And I was there at practice one day and I saw him at the wickets literally dancing at the wicket, making full use of the crease. <laughs> right. So Roy Das was coaching us at that time. I called him Dicey, come and have a look at this boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, we have to play him. I didn't tell him about Kushil's connection or anything like that. And he did very well. He never looked back. Wow. Last year he played his first premier game and he got a century on debut. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Nice. He played under 19 for Sri Lanka. Yeah. He's captaining the under-23 side next year. Wow. Um, exciting player. Absolutely exciting. Very disciplined. He does, uh, I mean, we have absolutely no problems. It's mm -hmm. fabulous. You know, these are young kids. Yes, of course. They, various temptations are there to party out, except, but mm -hmm. this guy is absolutely dedicated, determined. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, he'll go all the way. You'll make it big. Yeah, I hope so. What are the other um, in motivational uh, motivationally inspiring stories that has come out of Tamil Union regarding its members but also maybe people of the committee more really the cricketers now Suranga Lakmal who is now regular member of the Sri Lanka team mm -hmm. fast bowler when he came in we were shocked okay Champakara <laughs> uh, Amanayaka who is the current fast bowler right. coach they had said look there is a boy like this can you look after okay so we said okay then Brennan Kurup was the coach at that time. Um, he said, Dinada is a boy like this, what do we do? He said, 
We do it. He said, no, he has no money to come to Colombo. Mm -hmm. So we sent him a postal order. Mm -hmm. And then he was able to encourage that, get the money and come to Colombo. He was wearing neck, very poor clothing. So a group of us got together and actually looked after him in the club. Completely? Completely. Okay. Food, clothing, accommodation, all that. Right. And uh, we groomed him. We, we, we told him, look, you are destined for greater things. You conduct yourself this way. Father, Chena, cultivator in Hambantota. Okay. So Who he left his entire family behind and... He came here. Okay. What was his aim of coming to the city? Just a talented cricketer. Right. So he, 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 was, he was brought into the, the union itself. He brought right. into the union. Right. Sent by, again, one of the boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and uh, he blossomed step by step, step by step. That's amazing. It, it, it took quite a while to sort of train him about the disciplines, etc. Yes, yes. That's that is needed. That's, that's, I think that's normal, normal. when it comes to people who come it, from... Those, those uh, backgrounds. Yeah. And uh, I told him, you train hard. Yeah. The money you get, you can't even imagine your wildest dreams. We also, uh, while he was playing, I told him, look, you want you to be focused fully on the game. His sister was doing his A-levels again. Some of us bought her the books, paper, right. all that, and right. sent it through. He had no so money. he was that provided for? Very well provided okay, for. Okay, right, good. We have also another trainer, guy who's left us now, for, obviously, because we can't afford, couldn't afford to pay him. <laughs> we moved to Chaturanga. He joined MAS. Oh, again, yes. nice. Yes, he's uh, training, he's the trainer for the boxing team, but he was there for us for about four or five years. Okay. Again, we, we put him through the paces, sent him for Australian level one strength and conditioning, and he's improved himself. You know, then obviously he's got to better himself, yeah. and we were very happy he went across there. So yeah. we've had quite a few success stories like that. We've, had, we've, got, we've had players who have failed in other clubs okay. and come across to us. And uh, we've given them the confidence, the, and the encouragement, encouragement, yeah. and they played for Sri Lanka. Jeevan Mendis was one. Wow, really? Yes, Jeevan That's Mendis amazing. was playing for another club. Okay. He he couldn't even find a place. He was roaming around. Then he was told, "Go to Tamil let's uh, your luck." And we took him on and gave him a place and said, "Look, this is where you're going to bat." And we encouraged him. You see, it's also approaching the boy's mindset, attitudes. Attitude. Yeah. Um, sometimes you see, unfortunately, the people concerned say, ah, bloody useless, etc. <laughs> you can't do it. Yeah. And you know, you keep encouraging them and keep talking to them and giving them the confidence. Mm. And they grow in stature and they say, there you are, you've done it. Of course. Of course. But it also takes a lot of discipline and a lot of time, I think, when it comes to training oneself into. Uh, Professioning themselves into a, a game, uh, a very uh, and a gentleman's game. So no, I don't know about the gentleman part of it anymore. Um, <laughs> okay, at least let's, <laughs> let's stick it with the gentleman part of the union then. <laughs> Maybe it's not in the game. <laughs> I'm sure there are many gentlemen in the union. No, no there are gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, it, it, it's a tough world out there. Of course. And uh, we take no. You tell you when you go to the middle, you take no prisoners. Of course. That's and true. play it hard, but play it by the rules. Don't cheat. We don't encourage that. All yeah. right. So on that note, we have to go for a very, very short commercial break right now. More information about the Tamil Union and the Cricket Club with Mr. Janal Phillips after the break. <laughs> 